If I asked you, what is time? What would you say? A clock on the wall? Seconds ticking away on your phone? Or maybe just a feeling that we're getting older, that moments are slipping by, that something's been lost. But really, what is time? Is it something real or just an illusion? Something our brain invented to organize events? Let's go back, way back to when humans first began to think. For early humans, time meant day and night. The rising and setting of the sun, seasons that came and went, hunting, planting, giving birth. Everything followed the rhythm of nature. And that's where our first sense of time came from. Eventually, humans wanted to measure time. Sundials, water clocks, then mechanical clocks. We tried to control time, but it's still not clear what exactly we're trying to control. In classical physics, Newton's view, time was absolute. It moved forward, the same for everyone, everywhere. The past, the present, the future, all just points along one straight line. But then Einstein came along and turned that idea upside down. Einstein showed that time is relative. It depends on where you are, how fast you're moving, and even how much gravity is around you. If you were near a black hole, time would move more slowly for you than for someone far away. That's not science fiction. It's been measured using atomic clocks in space. So time isn't some smooth, steady river. It's more like jelly. It can stretch, shrink, and maybe even pause. Who knows? Now, here's a crazier question. Do the past and the future really exist? Or is only now real? Some physicists believe that all moments in time actually exist at once. We're just stuck experiencing them one frame at a time, like a movie reel. The whole film is there, but we only see one frame in the present. Philosophers go even further. Some say time doesn't exist at all. It's just a trick our brain uses to organize memories. When you remember the past, that's just an image in your head. The future hasn't happened yet. So what's real? Only this moment? And how long is now anyway? One second? A millisecond? Less? In the world of quantum physics, time becomes even weirder. On the tiniest scales, time doesn't behave the way we expect. The interactions between particles don't seem to flow in time. Some of the most fundamental equations in physics don't even include time. It's like time is something we add to make sense of things, not something that's built into reality. But in our everyday life, time feels incredibly real. When you're waiting for news, when you lose someone, or even when you're just waiting for a video to end, you feel time. Sometimes it drags, sometimes it flies. It all depends on your mental state. During the pandemic, a lot of people said time felt strange. The days all blurred together. Yesterday felt like today. That tells us time is something our brain constructs, not something it just passively receives. In a future where we can actually manipulate time, go backward or forward. If you could go back in time, where would you go? And if you could see the future, would you even want to? That's where science fiction kicks in. Time machines, time travel, paradoxes. But science hasn't confirmed whether any of that is truly possible. What we do know is that time always moves forward, at least for now. That's called the arrow of time. And here's the last big question. If time doesn't exist, what makes anything happen? Why does the universe change? Why is there motion? Maybe time is just a word we use to describe change. In the end, time might not be something we can ever fully understand. We can't hold it. We can't stop it. We can only live it, like breathing, like being alive. And maybe understanding time is just as mysterious as understanding ourselves. If you found this journey through time fascinating, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next moment.